This video will show you how to register on the My Invoice portal and authorize SQL as the registered ERP and intermediary for LHDNE invoice purposes. Step 1. Visit MyTax website and log in using the director's identification card number. Enter the username and password, then click Login. Select My Invoice, read and accept the terms and conditions, and proceed. Enter the SST registration number and tourism tax registration number if available. Ensure that the address, country, state, and postal code are correct. Then click Save. Enter the notification email, select the preferred language, and save. A registration completion page will appear, click on Finish Setup. Step 2, Register ERP for SQL, click on the profile icon at the top right, then select View Taxpayer Profile. Scroll down to the Register ERP section, click Register ERP. Enter an ERP name, such as SQL Account ERP, and select the secret expiration, 3 year is recommended. Set it as the primary ERP system and complete the registration. The system will display client ID, secret 1, and secret 2. Copy these details one by one and paste them into SQL. Step 3, in SQL account, navigate to file, company profile. Set up your company BRN and TIN by using the search function. Under the My Invoice section, paste the client ID, secret 1, and secret 2 that you copied from the My Invoice portal. Once all the details are correctly pasted, click on Test Intermediary. A green tick will appear if everything is correct. Then, proceed to save. Step 4. Return to the My Invoice portal to add an intermediary. Similar to Step 2, go to the Taxpayer Profile and select Add Intermediary. Fill in the SQL TIN, BRN, and displayed name. Click Continue, leave the Presentation Years field blank, and enable all permissions for e-invoice submission, cancellation, request rejection, and viewing. Then, save the intermediary. You have completed setting up the My Invoice portal and authorizing SQL as the registered ERP and intermediary. Refer to the next video for instructions on e-invoice submission and the required fields. Thank you for watching. For more tutorial, please like, share and subscribe.